And so they, in Dave's groups, we designed 96 SNPs. You know, just, this was a test run. And we ran it on what's called the Beat Express Array. This is also Illumina technology. It's um, slightly different than Infinium, but the two actually um, compare quite nicely uh, based on the results in Potato. If a SNP is good in Beat Express or uh, Illumina assay, it's good in Infinium assay in general. And I'm going to go as far to say we've tested the Beat Express relative to other assays like a little specific PCR. Um, uh, K Biosciences is what they call a Casper assay. The transfer between Beat Express and Casper is, is very nice. 95% of the SNPs are quite good. So if they're good in one, they're good in the other. So that's really good news because we're delivering sequence, for example, at SoulCap. You can go home and take you can go home and, and you know, design the assay you want. If our SNPs are good, there's a good chance they'll be good for your assay as well. Yeah, that's really nice. But to give you an idea, after the four filters, the minimum four filters that I talked about in the previous slide, we had about 28,000 SNPs that met the, that, met that uh, criteria. We started with about 75,000 or so, drilled down to about 28 between the varieties. 9,200 of those, and that shows here, were SNPs that involved at least one cultivated variety in it. All right, so they weren't, you know, Pimpinella folium times other things. And if you look within the processing types, 60% of 96, so it's really 60, um, were actually polymorphic within the processing types, which is quite nice. We're really pleased to see that. 43% in the fresh market um, tests. And Dave, you tested about 96 samples. Um, so you looked at 96 different samples. Uh, in different classes. And uh, the heirloom types of the vintage varieties are about 30, 34% uh, polymorphic within. And Pimpinol folium was, was, was uh, 40%. And then really in a wider cross, you know, in the specific cross, so even in a wide cross, our SNPs M82 times Pinellii, LA716, were only 30% polymorphic. So this actually goes back, in a sense, it's the opposite of what you might think. You think you got a really broad cross. Why isn't this one, you know, 90%? Well, we develop, developed them in elite germplasm. They're useful in our elite germplasm. They're not even that useful in this really wide cross. And one of the reasons SOLCAP, the driver behind SOLCAP, was actually to correct that. Because in the past, all the markers were on white crosses. And, you know, we were lucky if we got 10% of SNPs to go across all the elite germplasm uh, to be relevant. You know, so, so I think, you know, we were floored and very happy to show basically the relevance of our SNPs um, that we developed uh, for, for breeding germplasm. So just to give you an example, kind of the Beat Express, the way it works is um, really what it is, it's an allele, it's an ex, um, allele specific extension um, where you have DNA, you have a set of really five primers. This is, you have locus specific primers and then you have uh, primers that are called barcodes, or they're primers that are that are unique, but they're not unique to the set. They're ways of tagging a specific primer uh, to somewhere on the array. So in this case, you have it's like a three primer set where you have one common primer around your locus and two independent primers on your five prime. One is specific to the A allele, the other one is specific to the G allele. So it's a little specific PCR. You amplify that. And then primers that are specific to the more of these, what's called these address primers that are linked to these beads, highlight whether they're green, green or red, depending on the allele on that. So the key is basically you have primers that are specific to your um, allele, and they can be highlighted either in green or red. And also the result is if you have a heterozygote, you get yellow. And that's what the basis of the, of the assay is. The infinium assay is actually quite a bit simpler, where they just have one primer two primers, one that's 50 base pairs long, that's labeled, it goes right over your, your SNP, it would be so like, be like one long A, one long G primer. And one is labeled red, one is labeled um, green. And so the assays are quite similar and they work with, from basically in our hands, we already have a potato chip, they seem to be quite um, comparable as far as their efficiency and, and, uh, and how well they work. 